traders, Molly here from the live cooking channel Miss Molly Makes on Twitch. The team at 2K have invited me to create some recipes inspired by Borderlands 3 and today we have Tiny Tina's Pizza Bombs. Make it rain! To really impress Tina with these bombs you're going to need instant yeast, sugar, activated black charcoal and some black food colouring, cubed mozzarella, marinara or pizza sauce, some warmed water, olive oil, salt, and bread or all-purpose plain flour. To get things started, you'll need a small bowl. We're gonna place in our sugar and our yeast together with our warm water. Stirring until combined. We're gonna set this aside until it's nice and foamy, which should be about five minutes. Whisk together and combine your flour, charcoal, and salt. Then create a well in the center pouring in your blackened yeast mixture. Using a spoon or a spatula, mix together well until it's combined and creates a nice dough. Now we're gonna transfer this to a lightly floured work surface. And we're gonna knead this until it comes together to create a nice smooth and elastic dough. Feel free if you need, it's too sticky, use a little bit of extra flour. And this is what your smooth and elastic dough should look like. So place your dough back into a large bowl and we're gonna coat that with a little bit of olive oil. This is gonna prevent the surface from drying out. Grab a tea towel or dishcloth and cover. We're gonna set this aside at room temperature for about an hour until it's double in size. Uh, in the meantime, preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit and grab yourself a tray and line it with some baking paper. Oh, it looks like it's done. All right, so we're gonna gently degas like this and transfer over to our working surface. We're gonna portion this to eight to 10 pieces. And then once we portion, we're going to cover again with our dishcloth to prevent them drying out. Shouty, you the best. You the, you the best. Working with one piece at a time, we wanna roll out our dough into a round shape like this. Ensuring that the edges are thinner than the center. Placing half a teaspoon of our pizza sauce into the center with our piece of cheese. We're going to stretch the sides up and over, pinching as they come together and ensuring there's no holes so that there's no leakage of our fillings. Pinch it together like this. Flipping it over, seam side down and placing it onto our prepared baking tray. And starting with the next one. This gonna be good. Alrighty, we're nearly done. We're gonna set these aside at room temperature for 15 minutes, again covered with your dishcloth. It's going to help that dough re-rise and go nice and soft. Then we're gonna bake them in our oven for about 10 to 15 minutes, looking for the surface to be lightly changed color, like a light brown, and it's going to be firm to touch. Be careful, the cheese in there and the sauce is gonna be really nice and delicious, but it may be a little bit hot, so look after yourself, don't burn. Boom! Tina's pizza bombs are sure to get you in her good books. Eat them warm, but don't burn your face off. We'll see you next time. Happy hunting, happy making. When you made it rain, I was like, damn! Oh.